In this video, we are going to graph a circle. So, we are asked to sketch the graph of the following circles. Yung una nating circle ay itong equation na to. Nire represent itong equation na to. Quantity x minus 3 squared plus quantity y minus 5 squared equals 16. So, ang una natin kailangan malaman sa pag-graph ng circle, kailangan siya ay nakasulat sa center radius form. Hindi natin kayang i-graph kung hindi siya nakasulat sa ganong form. And recall that the center radius form is denoted as x minus h squared, the whole thing, raised to 2, plus quantity y minus k squared equals r squared. Now, bakit kailangang naka-center radius form bago mo ma-graph? Kasi, center radius form, alam mo na agad yung magiging location ng center. Tandaan na yung center is hk. At ito yun, h and k. And of course, sa center radius form, alam mo na rin ang haba ng iyong radius or the distance from the center to all of the points on the circle. At ito siya. Hindi r squared, kundi r lang. Ibig sabihin ko, ano man yung number na nandi dito sa side na to ng equal sign, kailangan mo pang extract yung square root nun to get r. Luckily for us, dito sa ating first example, naka-center radius form na siya which means ang ating trabaho na lamang ay hanapin kung ano yung center at kung ano ang radius so again si center is hk yung h kasama nung binomial kung nasa saan si x so dito sa dalawang binomial na to ito yung may variable x which means itong constant dito sa tabi yun yung H. At hindi natin isasama kung ano man yung operation sa gitna. Kung ano lang yung number, yun lang yung H, yun lang yung K. Which means, in this example, yung H natin is simply 3. Hindi negative 3, kundi 3 lang. While our K, yung K naman is nakagroup kasama nung variable Y. So, dito si H, ay, dito si X, dito naman si y. Ibig sabihin, itong 5 yung k natin. 5 lang, hindi kasama itong negative sign. Hindi kasama yung operator sa pagitan nila. And then, let's go to the radius. Si radius, madali lang mahanap kasi siya yung nag-iisa dun sa dulo. Wala siyang ibang kasama. At sa equation na to, yung nag-iisang value na walang kasama is 16, positive 16, which means this is r squared. Tandaan na, r squared pa lamang ito. Hindi pa siya yung radius. So to get r, kailangan pa natin i-extract yung square root. So extract natin yung square root niyan kasi yun yung magbibigay sa atin ng r. Extract din natin yung square root nito, which means our radius is 4. Ano ba yung number na pag minultiply sa sarili, magiging 16? That is positive 4 or negative 4. Pero, bakit hindi natin isasami negative? Kasi, tandaan that we're talking about the radius. And the radius is essentially a distance. Again, siya yung distance mula sa center ng circle papunta sa lahat ng points along the circle. Yun yung radius. So, kung distance siya, ibig sabihin, hindi pwedeng magkaroon ng negative. Kasi walang negative na distance. Which means, yung radius mo is simply positive 4. Alam mo na yung location center, alam mo na rin yung radius. You can now, therefore, graph. Dito natin gawin sa baba. So, kailangan natin ng x and y axes. And lagyan natin ng arrowheads. 
And then the location of this center is at positive 3, positive 5, 3, 5. So 3 units mula sa origin to the right side. Dahil nandun yung mga positive values ng x. So 1, 2, 3. Then 5 units above the origin dahil nandun naman yung mga positive values ng y. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Which means that our center is located right here. Kami tayo na ibang kulay. So, 1, 2, 3. Then, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Ito yung ating center. That is 3, 5. Now, meron ka ng center. Kailangan mo lang gamitin yung radius to complete the graph. Tandaan na 4 units away mula sa center lahat ng points on the circle. Ibig sabihin, kailangan mo lang bumilang. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. Ipantay natin. Ayun. Mas mukhang pantay na siya. Ito yung ating radius. Yung radius natin which is 4 units. Ibig sabihin, lahat ng points sa circle, 4 units away from the center which is located at 3, 5. Pwede ka na ngayon mag-draw ng circle. Patawarin nyo ako sa magagawa kong circle. Ayan. I think it's fair enough. Lahat ng points dito, dapat 4 units mula dito sa 3, 5. And that is our circle. Tingnan natin yung second example. Now, pansin eh, na yung second example natin, hindi nakasulat sa center radius form. In fact, siya ay nasa general form. Mag-graph na ba natin itong circle na to? The answer is no. Kasi kailangan naka-center radius form na siya. Which means, kailangan pa natin mag-rewrite. And then, we can locate the H, K, and then the radius. Pwede na natin graph. Can you do this? Let me know in the comment section kung ano ang iyong magiging sagot. Kung ano man ang part ng video na to na medyo nahirapan ka. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something.